Okay, so the next move we're gonna go over is the inside stand-up. When you're first teaching this to your young wrestlers, you wanna teach them without a partner. I want you to find a tape line um, on the mat and have them put their right hand and their right knee down on the tape line like this. They're gonna assume a referee's position just like this, right hand, right knee on the tape line. That's gonna be a target for them as we learn the move. What we wanna teach is we wanna teach the left foot to replace the right hand. So when I come up, I'm gonna throw my left hand across my face, very important, on the whistle to throw the left hand across the face. If we do not do that, we'll get it captured. So I'm gonna throw my left hand and I'm gonna throw my left foot to replace my right hand. So it'll look like this, okay? Again, you're gonna emphasize throwing the left arm up at the same time as the left leg, boom, right there. You've gotta have your wrestlers bring their, their back and their head up, back and head up like this, okay? We can't do the stand up like this. It will never work. So we have to bring our left arm across our left foot, replace the right hand, boom, right there. Now, I'm gonna move away from the line to show this next part because your second leg does not stand up. The second leg rotates up. So I'm gonna go here, right? Let me get a better angle even yet. I'm gonna rotate here, and then my back foot is gonna stay planted. And what I'm gonna do is lift my knee and rotate up. So it'll look like this. Rotation here. Again, from over here, rotate up. I don't step up, this is not what we're doing, okay? So I've come across and I rotate. If I start this way, I come across and I rotate up. Keep that toe planted and rotate up. Now, we gotta get our hips out. This is where we'll finish the position. Two hands on one side. Always two hands to one side. The leg that's back. That's how we're gonna peel the grip off. So, facing this way, I'll do it all together here on the whistle as if I was going without a partner. Boom, boom. Okay, that's the inside stand up without a partner. Okay, so now we're gonna have a partner on top of us to learn the stand up. We have to feel the pressure of someone pushing forward, okay? So, Coach Calvin's gonna come on top. We're gonna go at this angle here. And so the, nothing changes in this position for me compared to what we did when we were by ourselves without a partner. I'm gonna throw the arm and throw the leg. Left foot's gonna replace my right hand, okay? And I get to here. He's gonna follow me up and I'm gonna rotate on that foot and both my hands are gonna to go to his top hand like this, okay? I'm not gonna use my thumb, I'm gonna use the palm of my hand and push it away as I sit my hips away. My butt has to be away from the guy behind me, my partner or the opponent. I can't have my butt back here or I can't break a grip, okay? So I'm gonna sit my hips down, find this hand and start peeling it. We can say peel it like an orange. Once I get it off, I'm gonna extend it out here. That arm away from my body, I'm gonna take this hand in my pocket and then I'm gonna cut back, okay? So again, he's got a lock. I've gotta get my hips away and down first. Then I'm gonna take my palm and peel it out, extend here, cut back, okay? Whichever way you feel you can cut back is probably fine. So all the way from the beginning, it'll look like this. And you may have noticed that I walked my feet out once I came to my feet. So if he has a lock on me, I'm gonna walk out with my feet. So if they're close to him, if my feet are close to him, I'm not getting away. He's gonna lift me up. Okay, boom, easy. Now if I walk out, he can't lift me here. Post, stance. And that's the inside stand up with a partner and opponent. I want one hand on the elbow, okay? You can see it turn this way, you can see it turn this way. I think it's easiest just to go right here. Use your thumb right on the elbow, okay? So if I was on this side, it'd be right here. And this side, right here. And then I wanna teach them to step on the tiger's tail. 
Give them a visual. The bottom guy's got a tail. I want them to step on it. Really hard concept for kids because they want to put that knee down, right? So have them step on that tiger's tail. Hand on the elbow, head in the middle of the back. So we just start with that. Then this hand comes in on the belly button, okay? So that's how I start my top position. So even when we're working on the stand up on the bottom, we want to teach them the top position right from the beginning. If we let them just get sloppy on top, just get on top of the guy, let them do the stand up, I think they're developing habits that we don't want them to have. So just teach them how to properly get on the top right here and then we're still going to work the stand up from the bottom. So he's on top here, same stand up, cutting across my face. I'll do it just all as one move here. Boom. We want to teach our kids to be explosive on the whistle because we really want to emphasize when that whistle blows, you go. Okay? Worst thing we can see is those kids do when that whistle blows is freeze. Okay? So from the beginning, he's talking about, okay, I'm going to blow the whistle and that's when you stand up as fast as you can. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out in my face. Again, inside stand up, simple wrestling move. Teach those little details and they'll pay off for people getting away. And our wrestlers will get away most of the time. When we're learning the stand up, I'd like them to be on their toes because they're going to be a lot more explosive to get to that move. Okay? As they develop as wrestlers, they might find out that the stand up's not their favorite move and they want to hit a switch, they want to hit a sit out on the whistle. That would be a reason to put your laces down because you want to be in that ball, that position and ready to do a sit out. So I think the beginning wrestler, if we're teaching them how to do a stand-up, even though they're going to go to a tight waist far ankle, we can teach them how to defend that. It's actually really easy to defend, but we don't want to take away that explosiveness with the stand-up by having them put their laces down.